So Offensive Security, or OFSEC, recently released another certification all around threat hunting. And on the surface, it seems like a really solid and interesting cert with threat hunting. We don't have too many certifications covering that space, but there's a small detail I notice. And actually, I need to give shouts out to one of my friends at work, where I work at. They actually found this first, sent it over to me, and I did some investigation into it. But this new threat hunting certification has an expiration date, which is kind of something new for OFSEC in general. And with OSCP, you all know this, they made the OSCP Plus. I made a video all about it. They included me in their blog somehow, so thank you to OFSEC for doing that. I haven't been the nicest person to OFSEC in the past and have been quite critical about OFSEC and the OSCP in general, but I appreciated that move because what I liked about the OSCP Plus is it allowed them to meet some of those government regulation requirements for the certification, but they didn't take away the OSCP. And if you allow your OSCP Plus to expire, it just becomes the OSCP. Well, that's not the case with their new certification, the OSTH, and let me go ahead and share my screen and we can talk about this. So it expires after three years, which is kind of standard for certifications. I think that's the same with CompTIA and ISC Square certifications. Unless you unless you pay for a recertification exam or do their CPE program. Now, I don't even know if they've fully announced their CPE program. I looked at it a little bit and a lot of the CPE program is just taking other certs through OFSEC. And if you take certs, you'll be able to do whatever. It might renew those, but there is no OSTH plus. If you allow it to expire, you lose it. So yes, this is not the OSCP. This is the OSTH. OSCP does not expire, right? This is a new cert they released. I made a video about the OSCP. So I do want to be clear. We're not talking about the OSCP. We're talking about the OSTH. But the reason I brought it up is it seems to be the direction that OFSEC is going. What I used to really enjoy about OFSEC, one of the few things I enjoyed about OFSEC is their certifications were lifetime. Now, you can debate whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. And that's what I want to talk about. So for those of you watching in chat, let me know your thoughts. Do you think having certifications expire is a good thing or a bad thing? My personal perspective, and I included it here, is I don't like renewal fees. I mean, I made an entire video on why I don't like renewal fees. Now, I get it a little bit that you need to show, hey, the field changes. You need to show that you're changing with the field. But Renewal fees to me just feel like a cash grab by the organization saying, hey, yes, you passed our test and now you have to pay this money to be renewed. Um, ISC Squared, I'll call them out by name, I think did a really terrible job of this. They had that intro to cybersecurity cert and their goal was like 1 million people to be certified in cybersecurity and they marketed it that way. But what you didn't realize is although the test was free, there was a, I think it was a $50 renewal fee that you weren't expecting unless you read the fine text. So now you're still stuck paying them basically a subscription every single year to renew that stupid cert. You're not doing additional training. You might be some little CPEs you have to do. But for me, something like that is literally just a cash grab to get money. <clears throat> I don't know about this. I don't know what it looks like. It is OFSEC. They have the reputation for try harder as well as pay harder. But I wanted to highlight some of the comments on this LinkedIn post. Just be like, what is the community talking about? So this is, of course, a my public LinkedIn. It had quite a few reactions, quite a few comments. Joe Hudson had some good thoughts here. I'll zoom in so we can see this closely. He said, I guess threat hunting skills do typically fade away after three years naturally, according to the encyclopedia. So, right, he's, he's curious how the training is going to go. And he thinks it's a great move. Now, someone else commented, and maybe I can find their comment. They talked about how, yes, they agree if OFSEC updates the material. What can be quite frustrating, I don't know if OFSEC will do this, but they'll do something like this where they say the search can expire, you have to redo it. But when you go to redo it in three years, the material literally hasn't changed. So what's the point of redoing it if the material hasn't changed? So dear OFSEC, if you are going to require this, you best be updating this course on a regular basis. I would say at least every six to 12 months at the latest, because if you're requiring people to redo it, you better keep it up to date and state of the art for threat hunting. <clears throat> Joseph said to iterate what others have said, it's the DOD 8570 with a three year renewal requirement with their top and CEH. And I agree with that, but why couldn't they've done the plus for this cert? Like why couldn't they have a standard one and have a plus? It works for the OSEP. This is another 200 course. So that's a little bit of what frustrates me. If you can do it for the OSEP, why not do it for the OSTH? Because I made the point in my video that I thought OFSEC was actually quite clever being able to keep this lifetime cert and still allowing people to do it through the 
Department of Defense and government with the certification with the plus that can expire. We'll scroll through here, see if there's anything else interesting. Put it again in the 8140 list. I see nothing wrong with it. I do. <laughs> In my opinion, there must be an organization for those certified um, for examinations with symbolic fee. Firms like Offsec and TCM are offering. I think what he is talking about is maybe a symbolic fee. Maybe it's just training. Maybe it's submitted CPEs. Maybe you don't have to give a bunch of money to be recertified. That makes sense to me. I wonder if they'll come up with an OSCB++ that gives <laughs> amazing. So this, this person who I believe is an offsec trainer, so <laughs> might be a little bit, a little bit slanted here, but he said renewal fees are not a big deal. I mean, depending on who you are, if you have an employer that can pay for it, not a big deal. But if you don't have an employer who can pay for it, they are a big deal. Um, when I was working on the blue team, I was a senior analyst. My employer wasn't going to pay for my renewal fees. So all my certifications lapsed because screw the renewal fees. If you want to see if I keep up to date, freaking watch my live stream, see my CVEs, look at my security research. They say renewal fees are not a big deal. Certs get you the interview. Your skills get you the job. Yeah, but if, if it requires a cert that expires, well, you're not even going to get to the interview. If your employer requires you to keep the cert, they can pay the nominal fees. And maybe that's Offsec's target audience as they want to target the businesses and maybe the businesses can afford it and they are able to do that. We have DK, my, my good friend said, yeah, this is bad. Yeah, that's a bummer. Maybe look at the ECTHP for threat hunting. I believe that has no expiration. So we have just various comments on here, but I want to hear from all of you, either watching live stream right now or watching uh, on YouTube. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I do want to correct something. I had someone comment in my last video saying that I was basically an offsec puppet. They're like, as soon as I heard you say positive, I stopped watching your video and then i commented like dude i literally made a rap song about how much i don't like offsec i am i am far far from an offsec puppet but offsec is a major organization in the certification space and i think it's worth talking about so my personal opinion I don't like this. I don't like cert renewals. I understand the justification of staying up to date, but I think there's better ways that you can do this without taking more money from students. Like for example, when I did the OSCP, I had to pay $1,500 for 90 days of lab time. In my opinion, back in 2022, a broken shared lab environment, that is ridiculous for that price. And I did not have an employer who could pay for it. I paid for it myself out of pocket. So just wanna know your guys' thoughts on the renewal thing, the state of offset, what you think the future of the search is gonna be like. So let me know in the comments of the video. I will check out every comment. I read like every comment on my video videos, even if I don't respond to all of them. So let me know your thoughts in the comment. We'd love to hear from you and we'll continue this conversation over in the comments. I'll see you guys there.